No, not at all. And uh, I think this is uh, because it's uh, the easiest way to do it. I mean, you just find out that online uh, is growing and uh, people are buying in, uh, online and so on. And you just think you can do it yourself and you just uh, invest some small money in the website. And you've heard that Google AdWords or Facebook Ads is, uh, is working and uh, it brings you sales. And uh, from an um, entrepreneur, entrepreneur point of view, I think it's easier for him to do, this, to do it this way. But um, the right way sh should be uh, to invest first in the website, first in the products uh, or services, and after that in, uh, in the media. It's my main advice that I'm giving to, to all of uh, the startups and uh, the, the businesses. It's, I mean, it's so easy to, to start a campaign and uh, put some money in, uh, in Google AdWords and just wait for the results, but they won't just, uh, ju just happen. I mean, the, 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 the decision of the user, the visitor, to either buy or not buy is not happening in Google. Yeah, it's happening on your website. Uh, Google is just a, a channel that brings you the right visitors, but they are deciding either to buy or not on your website. And um, another thing that I have um, talked in my presentation was about um, the fact that uh, when you uh, decide to go online with your business, you are actually naked. I mean, your business is naked. Uh, the visitors are looking at you where they want. It's like uh, going naked yourself on the street and people are just staring at you. Uh, and uh, f look at every spot of, uh, of yourself. Uh, and for example, uh, um, a common mistake uh, that businesses are doing is, is that they are promising uh, false things to the users, so they are attracting visitors to their website with um, the marketing messages like um, we have the cheapest uh, prices for laptops or we have the cheapest uh, price for uh, smartphones and so on. And for, for a user online, it's so, so uh, easy to realize that they don't have the, 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 the smallest price. It's very important because <coughs> put yourself in, in, in a user perspective and when you are doing research online, you do the same. I mean, you just, it, it's so easy to check like 10, 20, 30 websites in a couple of minutes. I mean, in 10 minutes you, you've done a lot of research. Uh, it's not like in offline. In offline, when you are going to buy a phone, uh, you are going to two or three stores and then that's already time consuming and you might take the decision if you wouldn't have online you might take the decision uh, after that you won't go and see 10 or 20 shops unless they are in the same area My main advice is to think about one thing when uh, they are starting a Google AdWords campaign. Think about the relationship between uh, keyword, ad, and landing page. This relationship should be very, very uh, strong. Uh, the stronger this relationship is, uh, the more efficient the account is. And uh, when you are saying that um, Advertisers have only one campaign with all the keywords and the ads in the same group. You couldn't be uh, so relevant because, uh, in terms of AdWords uh, account structure, the keywords and the ads are uh, in the same group. So the ads that you are putting in a group should be the answer to all of the keywords from that group. And it's almost impossible to have one ad to answer like 20 or 30 or 40 keywords. It's, uh, unless it's too generic. And if you are doing generic ads, you won't sell. I mean, it's very hard to sell. So the idea is to go um, niche, to go on uh, more niches, 
and uh, go more specific. For example, if you are having um, a website that is uh, selling furniture, um, instead of creating one campaign with uh, named furniture and one group called uh, furniture and put their chairs and tables and so on, you should create separate groups with uh, one group with the tables, one group with the sofas, one group with the uh, chairs and so on. So this way you will have ads for uh, sofas that will point you to sofas and you will have ads with chairs point you to chairs and so on. And this is only the start. I mean, uh, we for example are grouping um, the campaigns based on uh, the characteristics of uh, the products. For example, you could create, if you see that uh, there are enough uh, searches for uh, red chairs, you should create a group called uh, red uh, chairs and you put there keywords that are related specifically to red chairs because you can create the ad, an ad uh, uh, saying like, okay, are you looking for red chairs? Buy a red chair from our 20 models. And then after you click, you get to a landing page you, where you can see actually only red chairs. And this will definitely increase your uh, conversion rate because you are showing the user exactly what he was looking for and you are uh, getting the user to the right landing page. Okay, that's a very good question. Uh, so brand related keywords are definitely the most converting ones and um, one thing is, is uh, that uh, brand keywords, branded keywords are having the lowest CPC in your account so you are paying, you are not paying that much even if you are, okay, if your brand is big, is very big, obviously a lot of searches are, will go on your brand terms. Uh, what we are doing in this case is uh, we don't use only the brand term in our AdWords campaign. So, we, for example, if uh, we would have Samsung uh, campaigns, we wouldn't bid just only Samsung because, yeah, it might be a um, cost for them, it, it wouldn't make sense. But we would bid on Samsung, Samsung smartphones, Samsung Galaxy S7 and so on. So we build niche keywords starting from, um, from the brand. And we are doing that to avoid competition to, to show up in front of us. Because, for example, um, if we wouldn't do um, AdWords for Samsung tablets, uh, someone who is uh, bidding on tablets could show in front of uh, us. And uh, with an ad like uh, buy the cheapest or the most performant tablet, blah, 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 uh, they would go to user who are actually want uh, wanting to, to buy a tablet. And um, another benefit is that uh, you can personalize the ad. I mean, it's very easy to uh, change the text of your ad and uh, go to a different promotion, go to a different product, a new product, and so on. And also, uh, one more thing is that um, the branded campaigns uh, are um, uh, the most performing in terms of conversions, but also they are the most performing in terms of um, quality score. And this, from what I know, it helps the whole account to be a bit more performant because Google AdWords is looking at the uh, whole account uh, history. Our objective, for example, is to grow this brand uh, conversion. So we are looking for our clients to see the number of searches for their brand during the time. For example, if we sign with a uh, client uh, now, we will look if after one year the brand searches, uh, searches are higher. Uh, and if that happened, it, uh, uh, it's the reason that uh, his, whole, his whole campaigns were good. And uh, this is one, one metric that we are looking for. But um, specifically on this, 30% uh, of the users who are coming with, from non-brand, non-brand in terms, should be measured different, different, differently. Um, and that's because you are actually getting new clients. You are convincing clients that didn't hear about your brand to buy from you. And 
it's always tougher to, to convince new users to buy from you. And that's why the CPA are higher, um, the conversion rates are uh, higher and so on. And this should be explained uh, very well to advertisers because it's normal to be like that.